The Bridge, a pool player's worst nightmare. Since stopping playing English eight ball and coming over to American pool, as we call it here in England, I have seen some absolutely shocking, shocking ways to use the bridge. But look no further. Today, I'm going to help you guys use the bridge correctly and improve with the bridge. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you five steps to become a better bridge player. Step one, nice wide feet. So you're behind the shot. We don't want to be doing this nice and close. It's a little bit rocky. Get your feet nice and wide and plant them down on the ground. Don't care how, just get them wide. Step number two, when we're looking down the shot, we don't want to be high up above it. Yeah, so you see how I'm quite away from the cue up to my chin. Get a little bit lower. Some people go right behind the shot and you're risking hitting your face. I mean, that's not for me, but some people do. I like to be just above, so the cue is coming just towards the chin or just under. Obviously, you guys, it's trial and error, but don't be high. Get lower. Step three, when holding the bridge, don't hold it in the air because when we're playing and we're holding it under pressure that can move, that is no good. Put it down on the table and press down firm with your hand. That way it will never move. Don't hold it, put it flat, put a little bit of pressure on it. Step number four. When holding the cue, we don't want to be like this. That can cause the cue to seesaw. You can even hit the table. And it just looks terrible, to be quite honest. You want your arm side on, and this bit is parallel with the slate. So get that elbow up. Don't be like this. Don't be like a weirdo. Get it parallel, back and forward, and try and deliver the cue the same as when you're doing a normal shot. So I'm not going like this and jabby. I'm bringing it back just as when I'm playing a normal shot. Get the arm parallel with the slate. Step five, I've not forgot the grip. How do we hold the cue? Well, I've seen some people like this, but it actually feels okay, but it's not. There's no real movement and delivering the cue. It's gonna get trapped in your hand. I hold it with two fingers like so. Some people hold it with one. I think that's trial and error, it's up to yourselves. This, not good, no power in that. It's all right for just potting the ball. Try it, two fingers or one. Them five steps are gonna massively improve your play with the bridge. Let's put it into practice. Legs nice and wide, head lower down. Hand pushing down on the rest so it doesn't move. Two fingers on the grip or one, whichever you prefer, and my hand is parallel with the slate. And there you see, we can draw the cue ball back at ease. Just gonna jump back to step three. In my opinion, this is the most crucial step of them all. See a lot of pool players, when playing with a bridge, we're like this. Remember, we want that rest, or the bridge as we call it, flat on the table. If it's like this, as you're about to shoot and you're nervous, the rest head can move. Certainly when you're pulling it back, people have a tendency, they're pulling it back and as they pull that back, naturally the bridge comes back and you're not gonna hit where you want on the cue ball. Get it down, get it flat, that is vital. Not a lot of players practice using the bridge. Not even a lot of snooker players practice using the bridge. I think the likes of Kyron Wilson, Sean Murphy, are seemed to be the best throughout a lot of the pros. If you watch the way they use the bridge, they're very good with it. You can draw the cue ball back and spin it and all kinds of funky stuff. I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do. It is a little bit boring, but what you put in is what you get out. So let me just show you a couple of little drills and things you can do to improve with the bridge. Try this out, 10 minutes, every time you practice maybe five minutes because it is a little bit boring. 
You don't need to do loads of work on using the bridge. Once you've got the fundamentals right, you should be good to go. So put a couple of balls, chalk width apart. Doesn't matter what chalk. Do the five steps and practice getting your cue through the balls and hitting the chalk without hitting the balls. Try it out. Like I said, that can be pretty boring but once you can do that over and over again just spend five or ten minutes on it just move on move the balls around the table to set something up similar to this and rather than just pop the ball just practice drawing the cue ball back for your next ball look at that straight as a die they're the five steps you need to be following to become better at using the bridge I know we don't use the bridge that often, but under severe pressure, you just never know what shot you're going to get left with this thing. This is a traditional snooker rest. I know they're a little bit different in American pool, but it's the same thing, the five steps. Guys, girls, if you've enjoyed this video, smash the like, hit the subs button. I'll see you in the next one.